Today we are doing a smoothie meal prep. I've been on a smoothie kick for a few months and today I'm going to show you how I prep smoothies for the week so I can easily just dump them in my blender and get blending and just go. So here are some of the ingredients I'm working with today. We have your classic banana. I'm going to throw in some mandarins. I have peach. I got these two giant mangoes on sale, so I had to cut those up. Spinach, which is what I always have lingering in my fridge to use up. Yogurt, blueberries, leftover pineapple from cooking this weekend. And I even have a few vegetables I'm gonna try throwing into my smoothies. A leftover cauliflower, the sad carrot, leftover sweet potato, and an avocado. I'm super excited to share this with you, so I hope this helps. So for these, I just stuck them in the microwave with a little bit of water and steamed them. I would never recommend cooking vegetables this way for regular eating or meals. They smell pretty bad um, and they don't, they taste really bland, but at least they're soft enough to put into a smoothie and not go to waste. And I probably won't really taste them, especially the cauliflower. So this is my first time trying this out. I'm really excited to use that vegetables in this way. I cooled my steamed vegetables in the freezer and I chopped up mango, peach, uh, the mandarin, avocado, and banana. I have my pineapple and blueberries here ready to go. And I also have my jars. So I like to prep my jars and I leave them in the fridge until I'm ready to use them. I found that freezing these doesn't work that well because you have to time it like perfectly right or else you get really watery smoothies, which is not fun, or it's still too frozen to get out of the jar. So if you want to freeze these smoothie ideas, I recommend using a baggie or a container, which is easier to get the stuff out of than these jars. These are 16 ounce ball jars. You can also use containers. I like doing this because you can pour everything out in the blender and then pour the smoothie back in the jar and drink out of it. So it's also Let's clean it for you. Let's assemble these. Spinach, cauliflower, banana, mango, pineapple, peach, and yogurt. I went with, I've never made a cauliflower smoothie before, so I went with some stronger flavors like the banana, peach, pineapple, mango to balance out the cauliflower. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited to try it. All right, so this one is spinach, cauliflower, banana, blueberry, yogurt. I'll definitely be adding honey to this when I make it in the blender. Um, I added more cauliflower because I still have a lot to use up. So again, just gonna be adding cauliflower throughout. But let's see, I think this will be a pretty classic one, like blueberry, banana, and yogurt. You really can't go wrong with these flavors. I'm excited to eat this. So I'm not doing spinach in this one because I just, it's gonna be a lot of vegetables. So I'm using my carrot, Zucchini potato. This is gonna be like a sweet potato pie. 
type smoothie. One little leaf of spinach. <laughs> I might add some vanilla to this. Definitely some honey. All right, we'll see how that one goes too. So this is um, cauliflower, carrot, sweet potato, banana, and yogurt. Again, I know, a weird combo. Okay. Okay, so I'm not gonna put you over in this one, but I've got spinach, all the pineapple that I have left, mango, banana, and peach. It's gonna be really, really fruity. I'm very excited to try this one out. And that's it. I'm actually just gonna top this off with a few blueberries to see what happens. So I pretty much used up everything. I'm really excited about that. There's a lot of leftover mango, so I'm actually going to freeze it in a stasher bag. So that's gonna be for future smoothies. I'm also gonna freeze my blueberries. I'll figure out how to do the spinach. The banana might go on some overnight oats or I'll just eat as a snack later. And I'm gonna compost this. I, you know, this is the first time I'm using vegetables in a smoothie, so we'll see how it goes. They didn't all fit, but I think, yeah, that's, that's how you use up a ton of vegetables and fruits left over from the week. Here we have it, one smoothie a day for the work week, all ready to go. I barely scratched the surface here with what you can do with smoothies. I mean, you can add cinnamon and different spices. You can add chia seeds, flax seeds, oats. Um, there's really just an endless amount of what you can do with smoothies. When I make these, I'm going to dump it in the blender with uh, milk or water, depending on what I have, and blend it up and drink. These last in the fridge for I would say five days max. And if you can't get to them, you can definitely throw them in the freezer and defrost them and blend them when you're ready to have them. But yeah, I'm really excited to eat these this week. I like to eat a smoothie at around, you know, three or four o'clock before dinner. It just helps me, helps power me through the afternoon. And I find them not to be like my favorite breakfast, but I love them as a snack. So I'm going to show you how each smoothie blends up. And this is the first time I was trying vegetable smoothies. So I would say I got mixed results. Some of them I really liked, some of them I were kind of grainy and I didn't like them so much. So I need to experiment more, but I would definitely do this again. I'm not turned off from the veggie in smoothie. So if you have any tips, drop them in the comments. This one in particular was a pretty ugly color, but it worked. I didn't taste the cauliflower at all. I'm very excited to try this um, carrot and sweet potato banana smoothie. I'm gonna add some cinnamon uh, and probably some other ingredients to this. Let's see how it goes. I just tasted this and it's actually really good. It's really sweet, probably put in a little too much honey. I can taste the cinnamon. I like this.
It's not the most appetizing smoothie I've ever made, but it does smell good and it has lots of good stuff in it. So I think that's fine. So this last smoothie was also pretty good. It didn't have any vegetables in it. I put some peanut butter in it and I love adding peanut butter to smoothies. I remember being pretty good. Again, not a fantastic color, but that's what happens when you put spinach in smoothies. I'm really glad I experimented this week. I learned a lot and I hope that by watching this video, you did too. So to recap, if you want to use up leftover fruits and vegetables, throw them in smoothie jars, blend them up during the week, and you will have a great breakfast or snack just ready to go. I hope that you really like this video. Subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.